You're just one day away from the season premiere of CSI, CBS Tomorrow. Well, I have to say, you really did it. You turned this rundown place into a palace. It's not your first guess. Show up. Richard will be very proud. Thanks. Yeah. Not much of a palace, though. Well, who knows what the Baron is coming. <laughs> so you're going to call me as soon as you have the money. Yes, right? I promise. All right. Hi. Hi. I can't do much, but I'll do what I can. <laughs> how are you? I'm, I'm sorry. You? I would have been here sooner, but Zach was visiting. And hi, hi, Danny. How you doing? So what's going on? Blake said that you had to open the hotel ahead of schedule. What's, what's happening? Someone has booked the entire hotel. Every room. Get <laughs> out. It is, it is, it is, but it really threw me off guard because we weren't expecting to open up until next week, and yeah. so that's why we had to, um, to cancel the gala. I mean, it's just yeah, been absolutely crazy Well, here. don't panic, okay? We'll just get ready. Yes, okay. we will, right? Yes, mom, mom, mom. They're okay, here. What? They're here. They're here. Hey, 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 They're in the building. Yeah, okay, okay. So far, it's just the luggage, but the people can't be far behind. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, here we go. I, yeah. I hope we're ready. Oh, Let's, go. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, okay. Come on. Hey. I just, I just came to wish, hey, wish you good luck. More bodies, you guys. She's here. Who's here? What? Wait, Ben. Ben, what's going on? You oh said you God. wanted us here to help. help. Please, anything that looks like luggage, tag yeah. it. All right. One of these suitcases probably cost more than I make in an entire month waiting tables. Hey, excuse me. Sorry. Uh, so who is this chick? Is she like like a countess or something? The Baroness von Halkine. Von. Von what? But for a man your age, you're in terrific shape. I'm in terrific shape, period. Yeah, if things don't work out with you and uh, Ms. Spencer, I'm sure there'd be dozens of women out there who'd be thrilled to... Uh, but you want Olivia. And she wants your son. Don't you discuss with anyone what I told you. Even me. Right. Understood. Yeah, but that leads me to an obvious question. Just how far are you willing to take this charade of yours? You know me, Arthur. What do you think? To Philip. Consummate jerk. Infuriating jerk. Yeah. I'm actually surprised to hear you talk this way. Thought you guys got along. Yeah, well, things change, don't they? Well, yeah. Poor Big Al. Usually he's just walking around fit as a fiddle and then poof. You know what? For the count. You need what? to show a little respect. The man just had a heart attack. You're right, I'm sorry. I you know I just start venting about one spalding and I go off on a tangent. <laughs> like father, like son. Those spaldings. Yeah, unfortunately. Alexandra Spaulding. Spaulding. Welcome to the Beacon Hotel, Baroness von Halkine. I'm Cassie Winslow. I own half of the Beacon. So, was the rest of your party delayed? Oh, party? No, no, there isn't any party. I booked the whole place for myself. I loathe crowds. This portion of Guiding Light is presented by Physique. For free samples and more, visit www.physique.com. So, uh, you're it? You're the only guest? Well, is that a problem? No, not at all, Baroness von Halkine, not at all. Okay, <laughs> listen, let's just get one thing straight, all right? That is not my name. Oh, it used to be many moons a few husbands ago, but now I'm going by my maiden name, Alexandra Spaulding. 
As in Alan's sister? As in Alan's favorite sister. Oh. Well, it's very nice to meet you. Oh, Why don't we check in? All right. Okay. Long, they're happy. Come on. Come on. We gotta say hello sometime. Let's Come on. do it later, okay? You are such a coward. No. Oh, she is so glamorous. Yeah, even before she's had her morning coffee. It's Alexander Spaulding. That's Lizzie's aunt? No, no, great aunt. I used to live with her when I was a kid. She and my dad were involved. I told you about that, remember? Yeah, Back right. then, she was a force to be reckoned with. Looks like nothing's changed. Alexandra. Holly, <laughs> what a wonderful surprise. How's your father? He was supposed to come and visit me in Paris when he was in London. No, but... I know. He got wrapped up with the boys, but he'll be so happy to see mm. you. But I'm sure you're here because of Alan's little... Oh, shh, shh, shh. Mom's the word. We don't want to erode investor confidence. Well, I think it's a little late for that. It's all over the papers. No. <laughs> you look so beautiful. Oh, Paris you. agrees with thank you. you. How long has it been since I've seen you? Oh, darling, it's been much too long. But you know, the first thing that I want to do now that I'm here... Well, I hope it's see your nephew, Zach. Oh, yes, how is he? Is he with you? No, uh, he, he's not with me. Actually, he's with... Uh, don't I, Raina? Excuse me. <laughs> Alexandra, I am a Spalding ex, too, you know? Yes, <laughs> Grizzy, you haven't changed a bit. Are you alone, or is your father lurking around somewhere in the background? Oh, I hate to disappoint you, but Roger's nowhere near Springfield these days. Oh, what a pity. I guess I packed the garlic in vain. Now, explain something to me. Exactly why are you staying here instead of the Spalding Mansion? Did Alan yank up the welcome mat or something when he saw your limo pulling in? Uh, Miss Spalding, I need to go over a few things with you, and then we can get you in your room. Right. Okay? Yes, but do you think that I could have a drink first? I'm parched for my trip. Mm. Of course, Mrs. Spalding. What would you like, a uh, mineral water or iced tea? How about a uh, Bellini? Oh, thank you. Just in time. Thanks. Perfect. Why don't we get you in your room? Okay. Right. I uh, didn't expect you to be here. Oh, yeah. I came by to see Danny, and I actually went to the bar and I ran into Remy and he said Cassie was expecting some big shot guest, and things might get a little dicey. <sighs> Look, Ma, I, I want this place to work out for your aunt. She needs a, she needs a break. Can I make a suggestion? What? Get somebody to replace Remy behind the bar. I mean, he's a great guy but he can't make a martini to save his life. Yeah, I know. We just needed someone to fill in well, until the regular bartender I could here. I could do it. But that's probably a bad idea. No, wait, you you really wouldn't mind? No, like I told you, I, I want your aunt to make a go of this place. Thanks. Hey, Danny. Take this and go. Hi. Hi. So Cassie put you to work, too? Oh, um, yeah, but, you know, it looks like she's kind of got it covered, so I was going to take off. So how you doing? Everything okay? How's Robbie? Do you really want to know? You know I want to know. He's fine but he misses his dad. I miss him, too. I miss both of you. Take care. You said this was gonna get easier. Beth, tell me, what is your answer going to be? Are you interested in pursuing something with me or not? I will walk away. I'm, um... interested. When did you get home? A while ago. But uh, I'm going back out again because I, I'm going to go see Alan. 
I appreciate the visit. It's been asking about you. Hey, Beth. We haven't really talked since Dad had the heart attack. And before that, our last words were... Harsh. Yeah. Look, I know I came on a little strong, and... You're sorry? You weren't exactly in top form yourself. But I, I would like to try to see if we can put that aside for a few days, at least until we see if Dad's on the mend. And then maybe we can sit down and try to calmly talk things out. Do you think we can do that, Philip? I don't know, Bob. I'd like to try. Would you? I don't know. Anything anymore. <sighs> Except that, uh, that I have to get to the hospital. <clears throat> I could go with you if you want me to. Um, well, actually, actually, Alan uh, asked to see me alone. Do you have any idea why? Philip? <laughs> Who knows what's on his mind half the time. Go. I'll, I'll talk to you when you get back. If I didn't know any better, I would say that Philip still has a thing for Harley. Mm. No, no, I assure you that's not true. Huh? Uh-uh. Well, he's jealous of me. Very jealous. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I think so. She did that to hear me. <laughs> no, he doesn't want me to be with her. He doesn't want me to be with her. Because he thinks you're a bad influence on Zach, and he's right. Oh, nonsense. The whole Zach thing is just a reason to get rid of me. No, no, Zach is the issue for him. He loves his children, and he would do anything to protect them. Yeah, because he's such a paragon of virtue, mm. right? I never said that. He never does anything wrong, ever. Never said that either. Yeah, well, big deal. The guy's rich, got a lot of money, big whoop. Tell me one other thing. One other thing he's got going for him. Plenty compared to you. Ouch. He's a bully. And he's got terrible social skills. And he's a bad judge of character. And he's got terrible people skills with other people. <laughs> and he's uh, ugly. And I bet he's laying in bed, too. You'd lose that bet. Really? Right there is what I'm going to be like. I mean, I'm just going to walk into a room. People are going to stop and stare. People do stare at you, Marina. Yeah, well, not like that. They don't. Not yet, at least. Will you just, will you just check out her shoes? I mean, that is how you can tell if a person has real money. It is the shoes and it's nails. I read that somewhere. Hey, she is Miss Spalding, right? As in, as in she's single? I, I guess so. Why? I have got to set her up with my dad. Hey, maybe Ben could even help me. Do you really think she's your dad's type? Eh. Yeah. You can marry more money in 10 minutes than you can make in a lifetime. Ask anybody. <laughs> did you read that in a fortune cookie? Well, so what if I did? It's true, right? Thank you. Come here, I want to talk to you. Thank you guys so much for showing up on such short notice. And Tammy, thank you for putting out the SOS. I wouldn't have been able to do this without you, really. But now that we know we only have one guest, my skeleton staff will be able to handle everything. So once we've checked Miss Spalding into her room, you guys are free to go. Unless you'd like to try out the dance floor in the nightclub. Well, hey. twist our arms. And drinks are on the house for those who are old enough to drink. Why is everybody looking at me? 
Must be your winning personality. <laughs> Come on, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. No, thank you. Thank you. <sighs> well, my dear, you are one impressive hotel magnet. I'm happy for you. Oh, thank you. I know somebody else who would be, too, you know. Don't. Don't start. I'm sorry, but you know what? Reva's worried about you. She is, despite all the stuff that she's going through. I don't need this right now. You know, I don't. I'm not the one who instigated this lawsuit, Blake. I didn't do anything. I'm just saying that your sister could use some good news right now. Well, then you tell her. <sighs> wait a minute. Wait. You're not going to head home now, are you? Oh, uh, my dad's been babysitting for me way no, too much no, lately. No, 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 I can't... Michelle, Michelle, your dad loves to babysit. If you're going to be a complete washout, you're going to have to come up with, a, up with a better excuse. Mm. Michelle, you're not leaving. Can you believe that she wants to pass up an opportunity to dance with me? Can you... Oh, my cousin's so modest, isn't he? I'm just not in the dancing mood right now. Why? Because Danny was here? Tony's still here? He is? Yeah, he's in the um, club right now playing bartender, but I'm not going to let that ruin my fun. Look, I know that your relationship with Danny is way bigger than mine was with Tony. I mean, you are married and you have a kid. No, we both had a really rough year. And <laughs> just think, we've got a couple more months left of it. Yeah, and we can still turn it around and have a good time. I just talked to my mom right now. Oh and... my gosh, Reva's trial starts tomorrow. Yeah, I know. And I told her I was going to go home and hang out with her, but she said, no, no, you stay put and you have a good time. That sounds like your mom. Yes, and I'm sure if you called your dad, ladies. he'd say the ladies, same exact ladies, thing. Ladies, 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 please, I will dance with both of you. Oh, no need to fight. God, Come on now, I got enough. modest. I'm gonna show you up on the dance floor, Lewis. <laughs> Does that mean you're staying? I'm staying. That's Yay! what I want to hear. There's my girl. <laughs> hey, guys. Um, where's Ben? Oh, he was helping Mom move something upstairs. He should be back in a minute. Oh, okay. Why do you think you can wait that long? Uh-huh. Fair Come on, on, let's go. Right. Let's go to the dance floor. Hey, what about Holly? I mean, she... Wait. All right. Look for her. Madam, the broker just called from New York. Spalding stock closed at a record low today. Oh, how distressing. Uh, did he process my buy order? Oh, we're buying. And when the st stock prices go up again? Aha, it will be a beautiful thing. Thank you, Lloyd. I thought I saw you come out here. Oh. Are you all right, honey? I'm just, I'm enjoying the air. Oh. <laughs> now, come on, you must be a little worried about Alan. Oh, well, of course I'm worried sick. And how's Philip taking it? Well, you know, Philip, he's a, he's upset, mm -hmm. but he's not going to let it change his priorities, that's for sure. Nothing gets through that barrier of self-confidence. <laughs> I swear he's becoming more like his father every day. Oh, well, you finally pay me a visit. Alan, I'm sorry I haven't been here before now. That's all right, honey. Mm. Mm. How are things at home? Fine. Yeah? Well, they weren't when I was there last. You and Philip were having quite a row. But I don't want to tell you how to run your life, oh, Beth. Oh, please don't, Alan. But there is something I, I want to tell you. What happened right before I had this heart attack? What prompted it? My father made it clear that you're not welcome in this house. Well, let's take that up with your butler, because he's the one that let me in. I think we're getting tight. I thought uh, we could talk about you and your girlfriend. We're not going to talk about anything, Arturo, because you're leaving. And if you go anywhere near Beth, you will... No, no, I, I was talking about your other girlfriend. Olivia, Spencer. Oh, Philip, I have heard of some low-down, sleazy things in my life before, but sleeping with your own father's girlfriend, that's just... Oh, you know, that's just... nasty. Yeah. Maybe that's how Big Al got his heart attack. Maybe he caught you in bed with his girlfriend doing the nasty. <laughs> Where do you come up with this stuff? I'm a cop. I keep my eyes and ears open. And one thing I know how to do is build a case and make it stick. And Lord knows I have more than enough evidence to do just that. So, aren't you going to ask me what it's going to take for me to leave? Sure. 
What, what is it that you'd like? You give Zack back to Harley, or the world hears about you and Olivia. We will continue with part two of Guiding Light in a moment. I, I know that Philip's practically a son to you, but really, I wish he was more like you. But anyway, <laughs> welcome home. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so sorry to hear about everything you've gone through. I'm sorry to dump all this on you. It's just, right now, Philip is just, he's being an A number one jerk. Are you sure that your friend Gus, he did not do what he was put away for? I am certain of that. I, I would swear on my mother's grave. But Philip won't even give him the tiniest benefit of the doubt. It does sound like Philip's becoming more and more like Alan all the time. Oh, by the way, have you been to visit him in the hospital yet? Oh, please. I am about the last person in the world Alan wants to see. Oh, no, darling. That would be me. <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you mean? What prompted your heart attack? Was there something specific that brought it on? Yes. What? Well, Beth, the, the way I, I live my life, of course. I mean, the things that I consider important, like closing a deal and making money, worrying about my spat with Olivia or argument with Philip. But when, when your life flashes in front of you, you realize what's really important. And that's family and your connection with them and to them. You're like a daughter to me. I know this has been a hard year. With Jim's death, Edmund's betrayal, and this Lorelei business. But if you think jumping into bed with some young stud is going to help matters. Some young stud? Yes, Bill Lewis, your so-called husband. Isn't that what you and Philip were arguing about? Oh, Alan, Bill Lewis is not the cause of my problems with Philip. It's, it's more than that. Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, the point that I am trying to make is keep your priorities straight. Now, what you and Philip have is genuine love, true love. It has been time-tested. Now, I know he can be a pain to live with. I know he's difficult. But he has stood by you through all your ups and downs. And now it's time to stand by him. Don't throw away what you have. Because I guarantee you, you will regret it. What? Here, you. Hold on. I have, um, another one of those. Okay? Don't make me go back there. I'll chase you back there. Go fix it. Who is this? It's Cassie, Olivia. Why do you keep calling me? Because you hung up on me the last time. That's why. Well, perhaps there's a reason for that, that simple concept of a cross that little mind of yours. This is just a courtesy call to inform you that the beacon is open for business. Repeat that? Something came up and I had to open the place tonight. That's why I'm calling you. Something came up? What could come up that would give you, make you think you could do that? I would love to explain everything to you, but in your state, you're not going to be able to process it. The bottom line is it had to be done and I did it and everything's fine. No, Cass, you're the one who kept postponing the, the opening. What about the gala? What about it? We'll have a Halloween party instead. I thought you would like to come over here and take a look at how good the place looks. But you know what? In your condition, you shouldn't be driving. I'll talk to you tomorrow. No, no. We'll talk right now. Blonde, twinkie, you meddling little... Whoa, oh, hey, oh, ho, 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 ho. New, new pair of legs. No, huh? my shoe. You okay? Get out of my way, all right? Hey, I hey. got places Hold to on. go and people. Hey, no. You're not going anywhere until I put you in a cab. <sighs> oh. Hey. Well, I am ready for a big party, but it doesn't look like there's going to be one. 
No, it's just us volunteers, and half of us are too young to drink anyway, so if you want to head out, I'm sure that'd be fine. You know, there's this big bar between us. I, I can't hurt you. Well, Because I won't give you that chance again. I'm not going to let you that close. And I'm, I'm not trying to be mean. I just, I'm, I'm being honest. I just love you. You know that. And I know that you feel the same way, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. But we're not good for each other. We hurt each other over and over and over. And I don't want to go through that pain anymore. I want to be happy. Tony, we both deserve to be happy. So I need to move on. And so do you. Do you disagree with me? No, 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 you, you're right. It's just, after all this, I'm sorry that it came down to this. Me too. I wish you the best. I really do. Yeah. You too. You think in like 10 or 20 years from now when we're old and... All right, let's get this party started. We need some music up in here. Yeah, the control of the sound system's behind the bar. Oh, yeah, you got it. All right! Yeah. Tunes. Mm. Yeah. Right. You know what? I think there's more CDs in the back. You, you hold down this fort. You got it. You got it. All right. Yeah. We well, got the drink back here, my friend. Let's see. Here we go. Ah, here we go. Ice cold champagne. Oh, okay. oh look, sparkling cider for Marina. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's not right. <laughs> hey, Michelle, you want some of the good stuff? No, no. Oh, I don't, yes, I'm yes, not. yes, she yes. does. And I will have some, too, but I will have to take the non-alcoholic kind, like Marina, so my aunt does not get in trouble and lose her liquor license. Serve me up, guys. Yeah, so Woo! Serve good me tonight. Up. So ah, good yes, tonight. I am in a good mood, and I definitely intend to stay that way. Toast, guys, listen up. Mopi Mara just left the building. I am in charge now. I'm going to have some fun. I'm about to get this on. I'm about to do this. Oh, yeah? I'm holding. <laughs> oh, how could you do this? What? Do not breathe near a No, you match. answer me. How could you open this hotel without? Because we got a reservation, Olivia, that's why. Someone booked the whole place, every room, so I took the reservation. So you did. Look, you would have known about this sooner if you had returned one of my phone calls. Oh, excuse me, but Al had a heart attack. Look, I am sorry, okay? I am so sorry that you didn't find out about this sooner, and I am sorry if this steps on our grand opening. But I had to make a decision between a grand opening and a big fancy party or cash flow. And feeding my kids took priority. Sorry. By the way, you should check out your namesake. It's up and running. Hey, open the nightclub. It's not finished. They don't seem to mind. So now you're adding blackmail to your list of crimes, is that it? Come on, Philip. I told you when you started this fight, I do not fight fair. Mm. Does Harley know about this latest stunt of yours? No, I thought not. Gee, I wonder how she would react if I were to tell her. Philip, I'm sure you've been in your share of hot water before, but nothing, I promise you, nothing will compare to the scandal when Beth finds out about Olivia. Thing is, she never has to know if you just reconsider this whole custody thing. Do you think that you're going to pull a stunt like this and I'm going to be more inclined to let my son live in the same house with you? Well, I really don't think you have a choice. Oh, you bet I do. Hmm, no. You did a bad thing. 
and I caught you. Now, the way that I see it, you and Beth, pretty rocky as it is, you know, and this could be the straw that breaks the camel's back. And Lizzie, she has been acting out, shoplifting. Get out. Okay. Get out, right? Okie dokie. First thing in the morning, everybody in this world and everybody that you hold dear to you will finally find out what a hypocrite you are. for this place, Richard. I just really wish you were here to share it with me. Don't touch. Do the don't touch. Mara is over there, and you danced us all mm. the way over here. Is yes. that a coincidence? Mm. Okay, I'll admit, yeah, Mara used to intimidate me a little bit. I'm shocked. But you know what? Wow. She doesn't intimidate me anymore, and I think the way I'm feeling tonight, maybe you should be the one looking over your shoulder. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you. Dance with me. What? <laughs> yes? Hi. Hey, bartender, can I get a refill, please? Yes. Come join, join us, Tony. Um, hey, I'm, a, I'm Vic, the bartender. Thanks for filling in. Appreciate that. I can take it from here? You got it. Tony, come on. <laughs> no, I gotta go. All right, suit yourself. Tony's leaving. Mara, thank you so much for continuing to stay. I really needed this. Be cool in laundry, huh? You said it, baby. Yeah, oh, look, we got a wild woman here tonight. <laughs> Oh, there she goes. She's going crazy, everyone. I am, I am. You oh, know come it. on, Michelle. You're about as uh, predictable as, uh, I don't know, the no. rain on a rainy day. Come on, do something. Do something to shock me. Do something. Okay. I dare you. I just might. Go ahead. Hey, Tony. Thank you for helping out tonight. Sure. You gonna hang out for a while? Uh, just a couple more minutes. I gotta get home and spend some time with my mom. She's got a big day tomorrow. That's right. Well, I hope it works out for you and uh, take care of yourself, okay? You too. Good night. Good night. <sighs> Having a good time? <laughs> huh? Well, I am now. I'm thinking about taking off. All right, well, Bill said to give you a ride home when you're ready. I don't want Bill. I want you. And who said anything about going home? I love Beach and Mac. Hey, Ryan. I got your message. How's it going? Doing all right? Is uh, how, how's how's the whole hotel thing? That's good. It's a um, big success. Wow. Okay. Because I was I was I was uh, nervous. I was, did you need me? Did you need my help? Mm -mm. Something? No. No. Then why'd you want to meet here? Was there a reason instead of the house? Well, I. I... <sighs> Just that, you know, I walk in the house and, and it's just empty, you know, without yeah. Zach, without Jude. It's just, it's better here. <laughs> right. Well, you know what? 
We should stay here. Let's get a room. Wanna? Oh, all the rooms are booked. No, I meant right here in this little living room area. It's been oh, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're gonna get your boy back. Uh, <laughs> no, you are. Yeah, from your mouth to God's ears. <laughs> Molly's listening. We both are. that his near-death experience has made him realize what's important in life. And uh, he felt compelled to share it with you. <laughs> Lucky you. Yes, I am. Very lucky. I have to tell you something about what caused Dad's heart attack. What do you mean the stock has dropped six points? What is causing it to plummet? Oh, Alan, darling. I came as soon as I heard. Are you in agony? I'll get back to you. Well, it all becomes clear now. The mysterious leak of my condition to the press, the plummeting stock price. I should have known you were behind this, Alexandra. You should never underestimate me, Alan. So what is it? What is it you want? What I've always wanted. This has been Guiding Light. CBS Saturday. <laughs> Bing Rains. I don't like the way you do things. And Jacqueline Smith join Craig T. Nelson this season on The District. Then. It's a new season of the agency, and going undercover has never been more dangerous. Get back to work, boys. The agency season premiere after the district season premiere, CBS Saturday. Good afternoon from CBS News. This is Newsbreak. Louisiana is bracing for tropical storm Isidore, which has already dumped six inches of rain on the Gulf Coast. Isidore may regain hurricane strength before it makes landfall early tomorrow. Senate Majority Leader Tom Daschle accused President Bush of playing politics in the Iraq debate by suggesting Democrats don't care about national security. And in Africa's Ivory Coast, American missionary children whose school was threatened by rebels are being bused to safety. Now this. I'd like someone to explain why carrying a five pound baby means I'm now 30 pounds heavier. Putting on socks has become an aerobic activity for me. Well, there's only one thing to do. Wear dark colors. Instead of a bus, I can look like a minivan. But when you wash them, they can end up with clumps of powder on them. Finally, there's a powder detergent that won't leave all that residue. New quick dissolving tide leaves all your clothes looking great. I can't wait to see my feet again. New quick dissolving tide. I'm Mika Brzezinski on tonight's CBS Evening News. The Air Force Academy kicked her out for cheating, but her own teacher says she didn't. <laughs>